Hello, this is Samar Hamdani and my story is about Pakistan, which is a country on the path of default, it could be the next Sri Lanka. And I have been saying this for a while, but the former Prime Minister says so. And the number for uh, uh, once uh, bear him out last week, these rankings were released. They showed countries at the highest risk of default economies that will most likely not to uh, able to pay their debt. Topping the list is El Salvador, followed by Ghana, Tunisia, and then Pakistan. On the fourth spot, in fact, Pakistan is the only Asian country in the top 10. This is what uh, the report said. Pakistan's debt stands at 71.3% of the GDP. Inflation is in double digits at 21.3%. And the current account balance, which is theoretically should be zero, uh, stands at 5.3%. These figures are quite close to Sri Lanka's. Uh, Pakistan is at high risk of defaulting. It needs money. Last week, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, resumed $6 billion loan program to Pakistan. So, the money will come. But for economic recovery to, re uh, to really begin, you need proper policies. And for policies, you need policy makers who are doing their job. In Pakistan, policymakers unfortunately are busy in tug of war for power. I told you in a video what happened in Punjab. The Punjab province last week, Imran Khan's party PTA won the bipoles. They got the mandates to form the government in that province, but they could not form a government. On Friday, vote was held to elect the chief minister. Nawaz Sharif's party, the PMLN, which had lost the bipole, got 179 votes while Imran Khan's ally, the PMLN, uh, PMLQ, which won this election, got 186 votes. But the winners could not appoint their chief minister. Imran Khan's ally, the PMLQ, which won this election, got 186 votes. But the winners could not appoint their chief minister. Thanks to this man, Dost Mohammad Mazari. He is the deputy speaker of Punjab Assembly. He rejected 10 crucial votes of the winning side. So he brought their uh, uh, ally down to 176. The other side had 179. So Imran Khan and his allies, despite winning the election, lost the vote in the assembly. And the party that lost the election ended up naming its chief minister. Clad in black Sherwani, Hamza Shahbaz took oath. The oath of office again, he became chief minister again. Now, here's another question. Why did the deputy speaker do such thing? Why did he and uh, their allies cancel the vote? Uh, because uh, he has an axe to grind with the former prime minister. That's what they say. Uh, Dost Mohammad Mazari is a PTI designate, remembers. He's still uh, a member of Imran Khan's party, but the differences are out in the open so he is said to have acted for personal reasons mazari of course does not agree with this he says these 10 votes were cancelled why did he uh, cancel the votes of imran khan's ally which is pmlq because he has an x to grind with the former prime minister that's what they say Dost Mohammad mazari is a pti descendant remember he's still a member of imran khan's party but differences uh, are out in the open, so he is said to have acted for personal reason. Mazari, of course, does not agree with this. He says these 10 votes were cancelled because they violated party instructions. These 10 lawmakers were apparently asked to abstain. They did not, so he cancelled their votes. Can a deputy speaker do something like this? As with Pakistan's constitution, yes, he can. So here's what we have. Hamza Shahbaz is Punjab's chief minister again. And Imran Khan is furious. He says the mandate has been stolen once again. And the uh, Sharifs are ruining Pakistan's like Sri Lanka. He's asked for his supporters to hit the streets. He's also taken the matter to the Supreme Court. His party and allies have filed a petition. It calls for the reversal of Mazari's defiance. The Supreme Court has formed a three-member bench to hear the matter. And they have asked Hamza Shahbaz to serve as what they call the trusty chief minister. Bench 
एक वोट जो है चौधरी परवेज अलाई का है एक वोट जो है वो हमजा शरीफ का है परवेज अलाई चीफ मिनिस्टर है द पी एम एल एन हैज शॉर्ट पैक इट्स वाइस प्रेजिडेंट मरीम नवाज हेल्ड अ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस येस्टरडे शी सेड इमरान खान पार्टी वॉज ट्राइंग टू प्रेशराइज द जुडिशरी एंड शी अक्यूज दैम ऑफ वट शी कॉल्स बेंच फिक्सिंग so what happens next the hearing continues and the supreme court says uh, it's w- uh, willing to function 24 by 7 to resolve the matter and what is present new let's discuss on it and the latest the ruling coalition government has accused the country's top court of being partial towards the ex prime minister imran khan's uh, while uh, addressing the media last last night after supreme court refused to constitute a full court to hear the file against the punjab chief minister the election the ruling coalition announced a boycott of uh, the ongoing court proceedings the coalition party leaders from the government gathered for a late night address at prime minister shahbaz sharif's office and concluded that they would not accept any decision given by the three judge bench as they were allegedly inclined towards the former prime minister imran khan however they said that they were ready to accept the ruling given by a full court Let us now understand how uh, this happened in the first place on Friday the Punjab Assembly Deputy Speaker decided not to count the PML uh, Q10 vote in the Punjab Chief Minister's election deeming them to be against the party heads direction and thus making way for PMLN uh, Hamza Shahbaz to win to win against the PML Q leader Chaudhry Parvez Elahi backed by PTIs after this fiasco the angry PML Q leaders and Imran Khan's PTI moved the supreme court to file a petition against his deputy speaker Dost Mohammad Mazari uh, apex court in its ruling appointed Hamza Sharif as the trustee chief minister of the Punjab province that is Hamza Shahbaz while rejecting uh, the coalition government demands for a full court The Shahbaz Sharif government then came down hard on the judiciary and questions its impartiality. Uh, but in all this political situation, uh, the government and all leaders should consider the crisis ongoing in Pakistan, except the tug of war between uh, them for power. So, subscribe Samar Hamdani for more details.